Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And in this one, we need to talk about the math and uh, the math modulator. And don't worry, you need, you don't need to know math. It's a very simple one. And uh, let me just go right here and get it. I'm gonna say math right here and just bring it. And it's a very simple one. If I if I play uh, play something, play the clip, this is what we get. It's just a simple arpeggio. And okay, the trick is that we can go right here and modulate whatever it is that you know we want to do it. And uh, you have the modes right here. And this modes, it means that it's going to do whatever is that you want to do, but it's going to do it in a different way, right? Because it's going to multiply or it's going to be adding or subtracting or even a quantized. So I'm going to go and play it. And right now we are not doing anything. Notice if I go to this one, we did the sync, right? So I'm going to go right there. And we have no modulation right now, but if I go to this one and I start moving it, we get it, right? And we're going from 0 to 100%, so we are going from nothing to all. This one right here, this can go into negative, so we're going to go the other way. Right? Pretty simple. So what's the trick right here? Uh, the trick is that maybe if you go 100%, this is maybe too aggressive. And with the B now, this is the B control, you can just decrease the amount of the modulation, do just a little bit. And this one is still going to go up and down. So the other modes are going to do pretty much the same idea, but they're going to do it on a different way. So this one is going to be adding A and B. So the modulation is going to be a little bit more aggressive. This is A, and then we're going to go and do it much more, right? It's just going to go in crazy. Just a bit more aggressive. If I go right there, we get all. And if I go all the way down, I'm going to go and, you know, we get pretty much the same thing, but it's just more aggressive towards the negative side because we are doing ne negative. So, yeah, it's just a different way of uh, of modulating, so. And you get different modes, you get the subtract, which is, uh, if I'm gonna play it, I do play. It is pretty similar, maybe we could put it right there. And if we get the other ones, let's go to the minimum of A and B. Now notice in this one, as I go up, nothing really happens. So this one is important right now. You need to just move this one if you want to modulate it in a very specific way. So, and then we get the max, which is pretty similar to the other one, but the opposite way. All right. So the only one different right now of uh, really, really different from this ones is gonna be the quantize. So this one is going to perform kind of a stepped uh, transition. So notice if I move it, move up, move this uh, knob, it's gonna go in a step fashion. Notice it's, just, it's going in steps. So the other ones are, gonna, are really smooth. There's, there, there are no steps. But in this one, it's quantized. So it's gonna go in steps. And it sounds really different. Now, the, of course, the whole trick of all of this is that uh, you're going to need to do some kind of a modulation and then modulate this value or modulate this value with something else. So if I go to a classic LFO and I don't know, I do something like this, whatever, it doesn't matter right now. It's going to go and notice that we can see the transition right now. And as we go and we change the different modes, uh, the modulation is just going to be a little bit different. Let's go to add, notice it's different, and the sub is different, different, and then this one is not doing anything, and it's because we need to kind of uh, move the, 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 the B knob in order to do something, to get it to the sweet, the sweet spot. And then we get the quantize, we get, which is, we already know. So again, the whole idea again is you can modulate different things. So if I if I do some other things right here, I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna start getting a, a different sound. I'm gonna go over there. And I'm gonna do maybe something like that. So that's that's the whole point of this. You can still, you can run a modulation with the knobs, right? And maybe you like what you have on the multiply, but maybe you want to check the other ones. Maybe you get uh, something else, something a little bit different. And then maybe you didn't know you, you want it. That's the whole point of all these devices, just to get a little bit of a modulation and a little bit of randomness. 
so you can just play around with sounds. So that's it, you know, just a very simple device. I've told you, you don't need to know math in order to use it. So this is kind of a, the thing that you would use to do a little bit of experimentation and modulation with LFOs or maybe steps or whatever it is that you want to use to modulate whatever knob. But you can even modulate this one if you wish, if you want to get, you know, just a different type of modulation. But it's a very simple device. And uh, that's it. So hopefully you learned something. Remember to like and subscribe and to check Patreon, of course, and see you on the next one.